It's really easy in an organization to focus on the past and what came before and really hard sometimes to think about what's coming next in the future and, and where things are going. And what I wanted to do is spend a couple minutes thinking about the nature of the revolution that's right here in front of all of you. So the first element of this new economy, and I believe it is a revolution, is this notion that you can earn the privilege of talking directly to your customers. That was impossible 10 years ago, impossible. Now there are whole companies in Seattle who do nothing but base their business on talking directly to their customers. And so the big question here is, are you going to be able to earn this asset? The privilege, not the right, but the privilege of delivering personal, anticipated, and relevant messages to people who want to get them. The second element of what's building this revolutionary new way of doing business is this notion I call tribes. A tribe is a group of people connected with a culture, with a language, with a goal, with a leader. A group of people who want to go somewhere. What happens is there are passionate groups finding each other and connecting with each other like never before. This notion of marketing being advertising is changing. That what you really do if you are Apple is you lead a tribe. That's your job. Your job is not to figure out how to find yet another stranger. Your job is to figure out how to make a product for the ones you've already got. So this fabled job title does not stand for chief marketing officer. It stands for chief movement officer. That brands that turn into movements will always outperform brands that are just brands.